of the unicorn. You need the unicorn. An Amy Krauss Rosenthal book, pictures based on the Bridget, the art by Bridget Berriger. Luck of the unicorn. A gentle springtime breeze blew across the field where you need the unicorn played with a friend. The little girl had slid down a magical rainbow to get to the land of unicorns. You need look, the little girl said, pointing at something in the grass. Uni leaned in closer. It was a tiny plant with bright green leaves. It's a four-leaf clover, the little girl said. I've heard that finding one brings good luck. Today must be our lucky day, Uni said. What do you mean? The little girl asked. Uni looked around. Some days are luckier than others, Uni explained. The sun is shining. I'm with my friend, and we just found a good luck charm. Crack! Just like that, a thunderbolt crashed. The skies that had been blue and clear a moment ago were suddenly crowded with clouds. Rain came pouring down, soaking Uni and the little girl. Maybe it's not such a lucky day after all, the little girl said. Goldie came running out of the forest. These spring rains come on awful quick. Follow me. But just as Goldie was leading the friends to shelter, the rain stopped almost as quickly as it had started. The sun peeked from behind the clouds and a dazzling rainbow formed across the field of clover. A rainbow, Goldie gushed. That's my lucky charm. The rainbow looked different to Uni and the little girl, not like the rainbows that connected their worlds. The little girl glanced down at the four-leaf clover in her hand. Uni knew exactly what she was thinking. First, a four-leaf clover and now a rainbow? We're we really are having a lucky day. The little girl laughed. You're right. Maybe there's even gold at the end of this rainbow. Gold? At the end of a rainbow? Goldie considered this. I've never heard such a thing, have you? No, Uni replied. But if little girls are real. Goldie nodded his golden mane. It's worth a try. Let's go. The little girl clapped happily as they set off in the direction of the rainbow. This is a lucky day. I can feel it. They followed the rainbow across the field of clover and into a grove of trees. Before long, they were deep in the woods. They could still make out the rainbow peeking through the branches ahead. Soon, their friend Silky approached from a nearby path. Where are you going? Silky asked. Today is our lucky day, the little girl explained. We're following the rainbow to see where it leads. Come with us. But as the little girl turned to point out the rainbow, she couldn't see it anymore. The sky was covered by all the trees. This doesn't feel very lucky, Goldie cried. Don't worry, Silky smiled. Once we leave the forest, we'll see the rainbow again. Up ahead, three paths branched off through the forest. Without the rainbow to follow, no one knew which way to go. Silky gasped. Look, a little red beetle had landed on her nose. It's a ladybug, Uni said. A ladybug, Silky said. That's my lucky charm. The ladybug took flight and veered down the path on the left, buzzing her way through the forest. Maybe the ladybug knows the way, the little girl suggested. Yes, Silky agreed. Let's follow her. It could still be our lucky day, Uni said, hopefully. The ladybug led them through the forest, through the deepest part of the woods, back to the edge of the forest. There they ran right into their friend, Pinky. Where are you going, Pinky asked. We're looking for the end of the rainbow, the little girl said. We saw a four-leaf clover, a rainbow, and a ladybug, so we hope it is our lucky day. Maybe it's not your lucky day, Pinky said, but it could be a lucky night. Pinky was right. The sun was setting. They could see the rainbow again, but it was disappearing on the horizon as the day turned to night. It was their last chance. The five friends galloped across the field toward the end of the fading rainbow. Just as the first star appeared, they saw a shimmering shape in the distance. What's that? asked the little girl. At the end of the rainbow, a golden tree? Yes, it was a beautiful golden tree with four-leaf clovers growing all around. A shooting star streaked across the sky. See, it is our lucky night, Pinky said. Everyone make a wish. They all closed their eyes, and when they opened them, a small creature was dancing underneath the golden tree. Are you a leprechaun? The little girl asked eagerly. Is there really a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow? 
Well, leprechauns do have gold, the little creature replied, winking, but it's only for good luck and only for those who believe in their own luck. Uni and the little girl smiled at each other. They knew a lot about the power of believing. The leprechaun went on, tell me, what is your lucky charm? A rainbow, Goldie answered. A ladybug, Silky said. A shooting star, Pinky cried. One by one, the leprechaun tossed each unicorn a single gold coin. And how about you, the leprechaun said, looking at Uni and the little girl. What's your lucky charm? Unicorns, the little girl cheered as she gave Uni a big hug. Uni smiled. And there's nothing luckier for a unicorn than a little girl. <laughs> Try your luck with the fun activities on the next few pages. All right. So if you would like to play Beautiful Bingo, um, you can always um, pause this so you can see it. It says, can you find these images in the story? Spot five in a row and you win bingo. And you get the free space for free. So you could pause and rewind and go back and see if you can find those things in the story and find five of them in a row. Then there is this word search called Lucky Looking. Can you find these words in the puzzle? Look up, down, backward, forward, and diagonally. The words that are in here are Believe, Charm, Clover, Ladybug, Leprechaun, Lucky, Star, Rainbow, and Unicorn. And here are some other books by Uni. You could look through and see if you've read any of the others. Thank you for listening.